technology and uh, first topic is hypertension hypertension is a very very important topic for the theory question for the final years also in your medicine exam so today i will talk in such a way that those of my friends who are in pre final or final year students they should also get benefit for their university exam and of course i'll be covering all the mcqs also so all others are also equally benefited so the first topic is hypertension now how question and remember hypertension question is always there in all the exam those who are in final year you will pakka get a question on on hypertension and you will get plenty of mcqs also now what question will come in your final prof theory question theory question will come like this theory question for university exam university exam what is secondary hypertension what are the causes and how will you manage this case management okay this is always a long question is there always a long question long question long question of about 30 mark whatever marks you have in your university long question detailed theory question hai so before i come to this uh, question let's talk about the basics about the hypertension so first of all we talk about what is the definition of hypertension definition so first you write down systolic diastolic diastolic normal below 120 and below 80 mm of mercury of course underline the word and then we have a pre hypertension pre hypertension systolic bp 122 139 and or it is and or it is 80 to 89 then we have stage 1 stage 1 stage 1 one. 140 to 159 and or 9299 stage 2 one more than or equal to 160 and or more than equal to 100 first you note down i hope first you note down then i'll tell you what question is going to ask you the theory question if come you have to write definition like this okay now the mcq is the two mcqs first mcq normal bp is below 120 and below 80 circle number 1 and stage 2 so called severe hypertension is above 160 this is circle number 2 okay this is second number question that if is what is stage 2 is like this but now what question will come to you look at one more question which came in last year dnb exam the question was like this suppose we get one patient whose bp is 136 by 102 136 come in which category it come in pre hypertension and 102 come in 102 in stage 2 so this come in pre hypertension and this come in stage 2 so we will call this patient as a case of stage 2 hypertension suppose we get a patient like this 164 by 
this is normal and this is stage 2 stage 2 normal so we will again call this as a case of stage 2 so what I want to convey the message to you is important MCQ if you are getting two values which come into different categories so you the patient BP is taken as the whichever is the higher category is the hypertension got it so we got three MCQs first was the normal stage 2 and if you get any figure like this so what we learned is whichever is the higher figure is is the BP of that patient so this is the what we learned is regarding the definition of hypertension I hope things are clear to you and remember to have a normal BP it should be below 120 and below 80 and but here and or that is why we have taken into and or whichever is so we have used and or but to have a normal BP it should be below 120 and below 80. Now we talk about now we move on to next point the next point is regarding well we have now there are few two viva questions very important viva question hypertension is also known as silent killer disease silent killer disease and the rule of half rule of half applies to hypertension this you can write down theory also in theory also when you are writing your final prof exam you write the hypertension is also known as silent killer disease and rule of half applies to hypertension third point so this is the circle number three circle number three next next is there are some cases where only systolic BP is high causes of systolic hypertension systolic hypertension again a very important MCQ systolic hypertension seen in condition like like aortic regurgitation is seen in hyperthyroidism hyperthyroidism hyperthyroid severe anemia pregnancy Paget disease AV malformation AV malformation malformation ok this, this is the next box AV malformation systolic hypertension seen in the some there are some of the causes is very frequently asked question in your PG entrance exam the systolic BP that means and, and one more thing is isolated systolic hypertension one more is ISH I will talk separately ISH isolated systolic hypertension remember what do you mean by systolic hypertension like in these patient only systolic BP is high like 180 by 78 systolic BP is high diastolic is below 80 normal hai. so we call this as a case of systolic hypertension ok now before I proceed further so in this case systolic hypertension is there so in this cases pulse pressure will be wide wide pulse pressure what is pulse pressure all of you know it is systolic minus diastole is pulse pressure so if he asked you question maybe viva or maybe mcq and theory also cause of wide pulse pressure the answer remains same all these will be having wide pulse pressure also okay so all these will be having same wide pulse pressure the answer remain the same well, what is mean arterial 
pressure. This very frequently asked, you should write in your theory also and very important MCQ also. What is mean? Arterial. Arterial pressure. Mean arterial pressure is diastole plus one third of the pulse pressure. Pulse pressure I told you just now is the difference between systole and diastole. It's pulse pressure. So let's take an example. All of you, you also calculate. Suppose I have one patient whose BP is 120 by 90. What will be the mean arterial pressure? So diastole is 90. And how much is the pulse pressure? 120 minus 90 is what? 30 is the pulse pressure minus 30. Okay, uh, sorry, is uh, one third of the pulse pressure is 30 and it will be one third of it will be 10. 10. So mean arterial will be 100. I repeat again, diastole is how much? 90. 90 is a diastole, diastole. Pulse pressure is 30 and one third of 30 is 10 like this thing. So 90 plus 10 is 100 is the, is the mean arterial pressure of a patient whose BP is 120 by 90 is an example to give you. But otherwise as far as our MCQ is concerned, very frequent and this question came last year on the PG exam also. So mean arterial pressure is 130 by uh, uh, diastole plus one third of pulse pressure. This is the box number four and this is the point number five to be rem remembered in the exam. Now we talk about one entity ISH. What is ISH? ISH is a very important short note. It can come as a short note separately also. This stands for isolated, isolated systolic hypertension. Isolated systolic hypertension. Now what is this? First of all, in this, it is seen in number one, elderly person. It is a separate MCQ, so very frequently. It is seen in the elderly person. It means, suppose, it, uh, suppose a young man of 20 years come to you and you make ISI diagnosis, the wrong diagnosis. And in this, only systolic BP is high. Systolic BP is high. So that means diastolic is normal and this is due to arteriosclerosis. This is due to arteriosclerosis. Arterio, this is arterio. Point to be noted, it is not athero, it is arterio. Arteriosclerosis. Sclerosis. So it is due to arteriosclerosis is the main thing and of course in this patient the arterial wall will be cord like artery is palpable cord like artery on palpation artery if you palpate like cord like artery this is the ISH this is the ISH to be remembered. This is the box number six. Okay. Well, so this was the basic that you have to, even the, <coughs> even the question come to you regarding secondary hypertension, you have to write this in your exam. So now we talk about secondary hypertension causes. So what are the causes of secondary hypertension? And in this, as far as MCQ, this is MCQ and this is the MCQ. And this is a very frequently asked question. This question comes in all the exam throughout the world. Okay. So now we can talk about causes of causes of secondary hypertension. Okay. Well, before we discuss. We are, we all of us know that hypertension in around 
95% cases, 95% cases, we have no cause, no cause, we call as primary. There is no etiology, there is no reason of high blood pressure in around 90 to 95% cases or 96 cases. So, we call as primary. But in around 5 to 6 percent cases, we have a definite cause and that is known as secondary hypertension. Okay? So, having learned the basic concepts, so now we talk about, we talk about causes of secondary. Four most important cause, the most important causes is kidney causes, renal causes. Renal. This is the most important secondary cause. The renal causes are chronic renal failure, acute glomerulonephritis, we talked last time, autosomal dominant polycystic kidney disease, renal artery stenosis and renin secreting tumors of kidney. Renin secreting tumors of kidney are the are the renal causes, some of the renal causes of, of secondary hypertension. Then we move on to endocrine causes. endocrine causes, endocrine causes, they include hypo and hyperthyroid, thyroid, hyper and hypothyroid, they also include Cushing disease. It also include hyperparathyroid, hyperparathyroid, pheochromocytoma, pheochromocytoma, acromegaly, acromegaly. Okay. In this, we have hypertension. Okay, but important MCQ and VIVA question in your final prof. Addison disease, hypertension is never, never occurs in Addison disease, never Addison disease, never occur in Addison. This is the most important MCQ, this is the most important MCQ. This is the circle number, MCQ number 7. Invariably, whenever this question come, whenever this question come, hypertension is seen in all except, except will be always Addison disease. Got it? Very important MCQ, viva question also, but otherwise, that condition, endocrine condition where we get hypertension. Then we talk about certain drugs certain drugs which can lead to certain drugs zoom karenge drugs which can induce hypertension the drugs include are corticosteroids corticosteroid beta agonist beta agonist and sides non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs alcohol are some of the important drugs which can lead to hypertension out of these the most commonly asked question is regarding alcohol this is a 
box number circle number 8 this is very important chronic alcoholism can lead to hypertension because alcohol has got many other effect on the cardiovascular system which will come talk later on philhal at the moment that alcohol is a very important cause of hypertension this is circle number 8 we still continue with the other things which can lead to hypertension or other are porphyria porphyria this uh, this question came in last year dnb exam frequently asked question porphyria then then coarctation of aorta all of you know this coarctation of aorta then polycythemia vera polycythemia vera very very important question very important mcq polycythemia vera is a very very important mcqs it can lead to hypertension then this may occur in gulen barre syndrome it may occur in gulen barre syndrome again a very important question then it can occur in certain heredity condition like Liddell syndrome, Liddell syndrome, Liddell and Gordon syndrome, Gordon syndromes. Again, a frequently asked MCQ question. So, they are some of the cause of secondary hypertension, okay, but these are the important MCQs which you have to remember, which I have made circle, circle, okay. So, we talk about secondary and secondary hypertension yahan par ek aur i forgot you can write down cone syndrome cone syndrome cone syndrome sorry for the inconvenience cone syndrome so they are the secondary causes okay well this you have still writing the theory question also and we are getting mcq also so now come the patient come to us. Now, we have to manage a case of hypertension. Management hypertension. So, whenever a patient of hypertension, high BP patient come to us. So, first of all, before we start a drug therapy, first of all, we have to ask him for the, so now uh, in the management, we have to go for the lifestyle modification. So, now we talk about management, management of hypertension. In the management, zoom karenge, zoom karenge or uh, management. But in the management, first thing is lifestyle modification. Lifestyle modification. So, what we ask, we ask, suppose the patient is diabetic also. So we ask him to control his diabetes also, of course, and if he is a smoker, we will ask him to stop smoking also. And of course, he has to control his high blood pressure, yes, and, and if his lipid is high, suppose his lipid is high, high lipid, so he has to control his lipid also lipid also he has to bring the normal why it is so important why it is so because these four are the important risk factor for they are the four major risk factor for they are the four major risk factor for coronary artery disease they are the four major four major risk factors for coronary artery disease. They are the four major risk factors for CAD. This is very frequently asked question throughout the world, all, all the exam. The diabetes, smoking, hypertension and hyperlipidemia are the four major risk factors. This is a very important viva question in your file prof also. 
theory and MCQ, everybody, everywhere you have to write it. So, first thing is the lifestyle modification.